and welcome to your daily sex IQ question at 5MI Weekly. Today's question concerns the biology of the penis. Before sharing today's question, let's do a quick recap on what we've learned thus far from your sex IQ test. We've learned the average age people are first engaging in sexual intercourse, the percentage of men having extramarital affairs, the percentage of women who've engaged in anal intercourse, the probability of transferring HIV during intercourse, the hardiness of HIV, the biology of personal lubricants, how expansive sexual experiences are, the fallacies of gaydar, the relationship between menstruation and pregnancy, the effectiveness of birth control, the goings-on during gynecological examinations, the importance of testicular self-examinations, the etiology of erectile dysfunctions, the effectiveness of sex therapies, the effect menopause has on libido, and the benefits of masturbation. What will we be learning today? What do you think is the length of the average man's erect penis? Give yourself a point if you said five, six, or seven inches. 60% of Americans got this question correct in 1991, and 82% of Americans got this question correct in 2016. Welcome to one of the most frequently asked questions on Google. How big should my penis be? For the newborn, his penis is about three and a half centimeters in length. The greatest growth spurt for the penis occurs between 10 and 13 years of age, and the penis is typically done growing by age 16. For the adult, on average, his flaccid penis is about 9 centimeters in length, and his erect penis is about 13 centimeters in length, or 3.6 inches flaccid and 5.2 inches erect. 75% of erect penises are between 11 and 15 centimeters in length, or 4.3 and 5.9 inches. 10% of men have erect penises less than 11 centimeters in length, and 15% of men have erect penises greater than 15 centimeters in length. A search of the internet reveals the size of a man's erect penis is related to his height, weight, foot size, hand size, finger size, race, and geographical locale. But before you go believing any of these relationships, you may want to know, more times than not, the studies that report these relationships are dependent upon their participants self-reporting the size of their own erect penises. Now, I believe a man when he shares most things about himself, but him reporting the size of his penis isn't one of them. Studies using healthcare professionals to measure the penis size of participants find no consistent or strong relationships between the size of a man's erect penis and his height, weight, foot size, hand size, finger size, race, or geographical locale. So what's all this mean? No matter shoe size, race, height, or any other demographic, the average length of an adult human's erect penis is about five and a quarter inches in length, plus or minus a half of an inch. That's all my time for today. Be sure to keep a running total of the number of questions you've answered correctly and the type of question you've answered correctly as well. Today's question was a biological type of question. See you tomorrow for the last sex IQ question, question number 18, a psychological question about women's preferences in sexual partners. <laughs>